Alright guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm working in the garage and I'm replacing the plug on my air compressor. My air compressor has this plug here. If you can see here, the ground prong broke off on this, so it's no longer usable. So every time I tried plugging it back in, it just tripped my, tripped my breaker when I plugged into a GFI. So there is a way to replace this. So I went to the Home Depot, picked up this replacement plug here. It's got the ground lead on it. So now, I just need to, now I'm just going to show you how I'm replacing this. So get out the razor blade and cut off the old plug. Actually, you had to use some um, big clippers to really cut that off. Now that I have these exposed wires here, there's three wires. There's a black, which is the hot lead. White is neutral. Green is ground. And the big question is where do they go on this plug here. All right, so the easy one to identify is green. They do color one of them, which is obviously this this type of this type of plug here. That's obviously going to be the uh, ground. That's kind of colored a light green, so that's where our our green lead's going to go. And then the brass color. So if you can see here on yeah, on this side, there's a brass lead. See that brass screw right there? And then on other, the other side, there's a silver screw. So brass commonly is used for the hot lead and silver is used for the neutral. So we're going to do black, black to the brass, white to the silver, and green to the ground. So all you really need to do to do this job is you just need to get some wire. Just strip back some of the jacket on this so you just get a razor blade. Carefully cut it back here, expose these wires, and then just get some wire, wire strippers. Strip the wire and then we're just going to We'll put the wire back into the screw, tighten it down, and be good to go. I want to make sure we put this plug in first. So we want to put this back part on first, otherwise it won't be able to go on once we have the, the top of the plug on. So I just have to loosen up these screws here, slide this down. Now we can work on the wires. We'll have to retwist these down. Green wire, the ground wire is to the prong here. This is a light green. We know that goes there. Black wire is going into the brass side. I have the wire stripped back. Oh, I have the, the wire stripped back right until it enters in. You don't want to have any insulation inside of the clamp, otherwise it won't clamp down on the wire. All right, then our white goes on the silver screw, the silver side, that's our neutral. All right, now I have the neutral wire in, in our into the silver side. I'll just tighten that down. All right, now I just want to make sure, go back and make sure all the screws are tight. That one's good. The hot side, that's good as well. Okay, now I'm just going to bring this bottom sleeve up, this protector. I'm going to line up these three holes and just push this down in. And I'll just screw down all three of these screws here. And then there's a clamp on the back side that squeezes the cord so that, so that the wires don't get yanked out of the connectors. So I just screw those down. Okay, so there we have a properly repaired plug. This is the same procedure for really most of most uh, cords that have the ground on there. It's just the the wire size might be a little bit bigger or smaller, but that's generally the the, the procedure. So we'll plug it in, test it out. Okay, we have it plugged into the wall. Mm -hmm. 